How do we help our dementia patients get more comfortable during cleanup time so there's a better chance they will get cleaned up? Temperature, I found, is one of the most important things for me to manage for my husband. He's just more sensitive to temperatures than ever before. So one of the things that has really helped has been getting uh, an electric heater for the bathroom. And I turn that on before I ever lure him up to the bathroom. The other thing I do is I turn the water on and get it ready. Now, we don't have a water bill because we have a well, so that might not work for everybody else, but if the water's at the right temperature, then it really helps. Of course, we also do have uh, a handheld shower um, piece and baby shampoo because it doesn't sting the eyes. We have a shower stool. He tends to use that more when he gets out of the shower, but I've heard that you can get like a full chair that you can put in the shower and that might help some people feel more comfortable and steadier in the shower. Um, the other thing is, of course, I have uh, his robe and his towel ready for the minute he comes out of the shower because he always feels cold. And lastly, <clears throat> be very careful of um, the rugs that you have on the bathroom floor. Uh, this one doesn't slip, it's great. So little things added up can really help shower time. And lastly, I don't know if you can hear it, but I have this little angel bell. And when it rings, I'm reminded that angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. So if we can just take the whole cleanup thing a little lighter, I think a lot of us were trained to think that cleanliness is next to godliness. I think laughter and lightheartedness is closer to godliness. But thank you all for sharing your tips. Let's keep them coming so we can help each other get our loved ones comfortable and clean as possible.